Hello everyone, welcome back to Scudia.com. Today, we are back with another video on the sensory receptors. In this video, we are going to discuss sensory receptors classification, cutaneous receptors, proprioceptors, nociceptors, sense of taste, sense of smell, sense of vision, and sense of hearing. So, let's get started. Now, let's have an overview. Nervous system has been classified into central nervous system and peripheral nervous system. Peripheral nervous system consists of the peripheral nerves connecting the central nervous system to other parts of the body. The peripheral nervous system includes the cranial and spinal nerves and can be subdivided into the somatic nervous system and autonomic nervous system. The central nervous system and peripheral nervous system work together, providing sensory, integrative and motor functions to the body. The peripheral nervous system is made up of all neural structures that are outside the brain and spinal cord. The somatic nervous system oversees conscious activities, whereas the autonomic nervous system oversees unconscious activities. The somatic nervous system consists of cranial and spinal nerve fibers, connecting the central nervous system to the skin and skeletal muscles. The autonomic nervous system includes fibers connecting the central nervous system to the visceral organs such as the heart, stomach, intestines and glands. The peripheral nervous system allows us to process information between our bodies and our environments. Autonomic nervous system is further classified as sympathetic nervous system and parasympathetic nervous system. Sympathetic nervous system is more active during fight, flight, and fright. You can remember it as triple F, F for fight, F for flight, and F for fright. But parasympathetic system is more activated during relaxed state such as rest and digest. In most cases, a sensory receptor that is activated by enough stimuli results in graded potentials, which initiate nerve impulses along afferent fibers of the peripheral nervous system. The brain can then process awareness of the stimulus or sensation and interpret the meaning of the stimulus or perception. Now let's understand it in an easy way. In first step, a sensation begins when a receptor detects a stimulus. In second step, if the stimulus is strong enough, the receptor causes a sensory neuron to send an impulse to the brain and spinal cord. In third step, when the impulse arrives at the brain, we may experience a sensation, such as a sight or sound. So this was all about this section. In our next section, we will talk about the sensory receptors classification. Watch our medical videos anytime and anywhere. Download Scotia.com app now.